A key element of wheelchair basketball classification is the observation and assessment of each player's volume of action. The volume of action of a player is described as the limit to which a player can move voluntarily in any direction and, with control, return to the upright seated position holding the ball with both hands. Each class has a clearly defined maximum volume of action which the player may exhibit. The class 1 player shows very little controlled trunk movements in either the forward, vertical or sideways plane, usually as a result of paralysis of the trunk and leg muscles. They cannot pick up a ball with both hands from the floor and return to an upright position without having to rely on their arms to assist the movement. They cannot hold the ball with both hands outstretched in front of the face without inclining the head and trunk backwards as a counterbalance. They show very little ability to rotate their trunk towards either side. The class 2 player has partial volume of action in the vertical and forward planes but virtually no volume of action in the sideways plane, usually as a result of paralysis of the lower trunk and leg muscles. They are able to hold the ball with both hands outstretched in front of the face as well as rotate their upper trunk over their lower trunk to face left or right without inclining the head and trunk backwards as a counterbalance. They are not quite able to pick up a ball off the floor with both hands and return to an upright sitting position without upper extremity assistance, unless sitting with the knees significantly higher than the hips. The class 3 player has full volume of action in the forward and vertical planes, but virtually no volume of action in the sideways plane, usually due to lack of hip and thigh stabilization either from paralysis or high amputation of both legs. They can easily rotate their trunk over their pelvis to face left or right. They are able to pick up a ball off the floor with both hands and return to an upright sitting position without upper extremity assistance. They show difficulty leaning to either side and returning to upright sitting without using their upper extremities to assist the movement. The class 4 player has full volume of action in all but one direction. Usually due to limitations in one lower limb, the player has difficulty with controlled movement to one side. They can easily rotate their trunk over their pelvis to face left or right. They are able to pick up a ball off the floor with both hands and return to an upright sitting position without upper extremity assistance. They show difficulty leaning to one side and returning to upright sitting without upper extremity support. The class 4.5 player has full volume of action in all planes with no significant weakness in any direction. They can easily rotate their trunk over their pelvis to face left or right. They are able to lean forward as well as to either side and return to upright sitting without upper extremity assistance.